The views, information, and opinions expressed during the following program are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent the views of Access Communications, its representatives, or its employees. Welcome to Birdies and Bogies. Well, thank I'm you, Leo. Very happy to be here. Well, it's a pleasure, and yeah. welcome to White Bear. Great to see you. I'm my guest, Earl Silcox. Hi, Earl. Long time pleasure member you. here. Been a member here since pretty well day one, and uh, I've played this course every year for the last, I don't know, uh, 40 some years. So yeah. uh, yeah. it's uh, great to be here, and uh, we've got a beautiful day, at White Bear. Uh, the course here is a championship course. It's uh, a long course for the big hitters, and it's uh, also very fair to uh, the senior golfers as well. And uh, we're just going to tour you, Leo, and mm -hmm. talk a little bit about our old-time hockey days. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, access has been a uh, big part of my life. Uh, I did a show called Saskatchewan Golf Tour. And that's what we've years. got you leading this right now. I, I think it's just fascinating. You had that show, you had 105 episodes or something like Yes, that? Uh, well, uh, 105 uh, different courses we yeah. played. We did 20 uh, shows every year. And uh, we always seem to do White Bear and Kenosi, of course, uh, down <laughs> in this corner of the province. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we've got a fine day and we're gonna show you this golf course. And Earl is uh, an expert at uh, Telling us a little more of the history. Yeah, and, I like that. Uh, yeah. Earl's uh, family is 1912 established yeah, here. They're my wife's family, yeah. That's and fantastic. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah. But uh, you no, know, we've lived here, for, uh, you know, every summer for a long, long time. Yeah, that's great. And, I uh, think we're just going to smack that ball and just yeah, tell stories and, uh, all day long. I represent all the experienced golfers. Yes, you do. Because I'm only 86, so I'm it's, it's, you know, it's I a child ask, yet. But 86, yeah. I hope I look that good at 86. Yep, and well, plays every day. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, well I'm on the course every day, not necessarily <laughs> know what I'm doing, but yeah. I hope. Well, I won the honor, so I'm going to get ready and hit off the first tee box here at White Bear. Come along with us. Here we go. Let's smack away. It's Bomb City, Earl. Yeah. <laughs> Earl's never played the blues before. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit right. Yeah. Maybe all right. Yeah. The magic of TV. Yeah, well, it'll play. <laughs> Leo, here I go. Okay, let's straight, straight down. It's a par five. Beautiful sand traps. Yeah, I see the bunkers already. Yeah, the bunkers, they and keep tough. everything in tune. Look at this tee box, nice and level, great yeah. grass. A little breeze well, behind Larry us. Palmer has been the uh, greenskeeper here since day one, and he's done a fantastic job. Yeah, I'll tell you, these tee boxes. There, that's a better shot, right down the middle. Yeah, I like that. All right. You might be able to get home in two. I'm a gallery player, I think, eh? All right, Earl. All right. <clears throat> what a great day. This just a fabulous looking golf course. Look at that. Right down the middle. <laughs> great shot. Hold the string. 86. Well, let's go play. Fantastic. Uh, let's go play <laughs> well there. Every once in a while, even a blind squirrel finds an acorn. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, 
I coached, I coached for 40 years, and uh, yeah. I don't know, uh, ended up close to 1,500 wins, but there's not very many coaches have got better than that, the one. Lay up on the right a bit. I'm going for it, or you're going to be a hero, eh? There's an old, there's an old <laughs> saying, you did not drive all the way to White Bear to lay up. <laughs> I'm getting trash talked by Earl already. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just commenting here. I've got about, was it 250 to the green, 260? Yeah, a little more. A bit of, yeah, yeah, probably, yeah, you're right. Bit of, so a little hazard in front. So I'm going to try and smack this ball uh, into a safe area in front of the green somewhere. Give it a ride. Yeah. All right, time for the glory here. Well, it's I a think tad that, left. I think that's going to work. Yep. All right, you're safe. Yeah, I think I'm okay, eh? Nicely done. Well done. All right, We've so got about 150 front, yards in, and you've got about, oh, 60 yards in. All right, I'll take that all day long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess who wouldn't? Yeah, here we go, gentlemen. Well, Leo, you got about a 35 yard little chip here. Earl yep. hit a nice ball in. He's just off the green or right on the collar, and I'm a little long. So just a little bump and run. Stay away from those big traps. Yeah, you know, I, I have to comment. Those traps look great. Yeah. Like, wow. I feel like I'm in Australia or something. All right, so a little 30-yarder. Yep. Right about there. Sit down. Yeah. Oh, a little oh, A little hot, yeah. Well, it's a great great opening hole here at White Bear because of the length. And uh, you've got to kind of uh, manage your ball. Uh, three shots will get you on the green, and mm -hmm. we're going up to putt. Yeah. Some birdie putts happening here. Looking forward to that. I'll tell you, what a great looking course. Here we go. A downhill putt here, right? Yeah, yes, it is. Downhill yeah. will be a little slippery. Earl, great shot over there on the side. Yeah, well, thank you. Just get this ball rolling. Oh, nice touch. Come on, come on, turn a little bit. Turn yeah. a little bit. <laughs> oh, oh, what a great putt. What you... I thought I had a birdie. Yeah. yeah. That would have been a fabulous. Have you guys got locked jaw here? Is that a gimme or? Well, oh, that's, I don't that's know. A takeaway. I've that's seen good. you putt before, Doug. So, uh. <laughs> what a great putt! Good way to start off at White Bear with a par. Very Leo, nice par. You saw the weight there. I did. I'm going to go right to left by the looks of it. This is a birdie attempt. Come on, come on, turn a little more. Oh, well, that'd be a little bit quicker than that. Yeah. But I'll take that par. Good par. Now yeah. here's the- Earl, my Earl goodness. Says, what a fabulous up and down here. There's your birdie. Shut up. 86 <laughs> year old guy just out golfed a couple of young bucks. What a great, what a great birdie. <laughs> a Thank great you very part. much. That was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. That ends our show today. <laughs> well, we're going uh, wow. to play some more holes here, and we're going to number four, a nice feature hole here at White Bear. Sitting here in the fourth hole looks looks pretty impressive again. Coming in off of coming off of a, a nice first hole. Really impressed with that. I'm gonna smack the first shot anyway. I know Earl had the big pot. But we're gonna talk quickly about bookings. Well, uh, you can go online of course and go to the Facebook page, uh, White Bear Lake Golf Course, or you can call 306-577-4902.
to make bookings. Now, weekends it gets naturally a little busier. Through the week, there's lots of open times, and especially uh, here in uh, August, September. So if you want to have a great day of golf, just give the, the pro ship, uh, shop a call, 306-577-4902, and they'll get you looked after. Now I'll tell you, you know what? To have a quiet week of golf, what a, what a bonus. This course is in great shape. Earl, you mentioned something about the flowers. Yeah, I did notice around the course, like the well, bird houses. These, for the these are all, you know, volunteers put them in. Uh -huh. they, we, the ladies here do a marvelous job, and it's all over the course. And these are, you know, it's just a special place. Yes. You know, it's yeah. just really uh, It adds really to the course. Place. It's very oh, nice. It does, yeah. Well, yeah. number four, you right. got, here we got go. the honors here. Let's see what I do. Hopefully the magic of TV. Hi. Yeah. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Uh, they're real good. Yeah. Oh, that right could be side. a little right side, yeah. It could be. Nice ball. Oh, nice ball, Doug. Good shot. Yeah. That'll play. Yeah. You know, this year with all the rain. Here we go, Earl. Nice shot. Way to go, Way kid. To a little short of the top. Yep, that should be. All right. All right, let's go. Here we go. It is. 150 yard markers are the red uh, posts. The 150s are bird houses. And so yeah. that's to the middle of the green and then they use a flag uh, system, red, white, and blue. Red is front, white is middle, and blue is the back. Okay. So uh, we've got a short pin here. So you're sitting about, I would say 115, and this green holds. So if you get it up in the air, it's going to hold real well. Okay, you know what? I'm going to, uh, it's kind of in between, but I'm going to try a little pitching wedge. Lob it in there. What a Look at this fairway. I hate to even take a divot out of this thing. It's so nice. Got to go a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm on putting on, on the dance floor. Uh, you're a long way from home. Yeah, I missed my line there. You yeah. know what? I was too, too worried about carving up this fairway so well, nice. there's a lot you <laughs> take as much grass as long as you replace your divot that's exactly but right there's lots of undulation on this and that's what makes uh white bear a challenging course you know it might look flat but when you get to your ball right there your ball is probably two yep. three inches lower than your feet so right you pushed it out to the right earl's right on the edge and i'm over that knoll i don't know if i'm long or short all right let's get out of boys eh all right it's money time. Putt for dough. Is that the saying? Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right, I've got a long putt here, Doug and Earl. But as I'm walking out to my putt and putting, I want you to talk about the Western League days. Well, I You're 17 years? 17 years in the Western Hockey League. I was in New Westminster, then Calgary, then Medicine Hat, and then... Uh, Regina Pats for two years, and then Brandon for two years. So uh, I had a long stint in the Western Hockey League, and then yeah. I went south. And uh, I've been in, uh, I coached in Oklahoma City for 15 years. And I'd like to say I'm going on public. I was never fired, but I knew when to move a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I love my golf in the summertime. <laughs> Well, you know, that's, that's part of the art of coaching, right? Knowing when to leave. <laughs> Here's my putt. Yeah, come on, you got to get a little more speed. You know what? I had great line. I didn't realize yeah. that it was going to be that slow. The one thing about golf courses in Saskatchewan, ball marks. And earlier yeah. you're probably on the same thing. Yeah. People don't replace their ball marks enough. You I don't know why that is takes, either. It takes yeah. a minute or two to... Come on, Earl. Oh, oh just missed great it. putt, Earl. Slid by that. 
All right, my putt's going to be a little. Let me just get rid of this one. You take that away, Earl. And you know, my putt was uphill. I didn't realize it was that steep. Another feature of the course, you really got to have a look, see what you're yes, doing. Yes, you got to kind of walk. I had a good look of this one. It's up the hill and down the hill, and a little bit to the right, I think. No, it stayed straight. It did, yeah. Hmm. I think you're in a friendly zone. Okay, Let's see what I do here. Get in there. Nicely done. Good, yeah. I'll good take that good one. Good putt. Yeah. Thank you. You guys all got locked jaw, I guess, so I got to putt this. Well, yeah. Yeah, nobody said anything. I, did yeah. I mention friendly zone? Follow Even the camera crew. The <laughs> Follow through to the hole. Oh, oh, oh man. Well, you know what? Oh, well. It's going to be the magic of TV. It's just going to be... No, slow mo. Oh, great putt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All so the right. next hole is going to be what? What are we looking at? Well, uh, I had a bogey and Earl had a par. Mm -hmm. He snuck on the edge of the green and a par for you, so you're still up. Fantastic. Okay, where are we going to now, Doug? Let's go all the way to uh, number eight. Eight hole, okay. or nine. Nine, nine. yeah, perfect. Boy, look at this guy. Larry doesn't eight. want you to do eight. No, okay. It's so nice. It's really nice. Stand up for them right here. <laughs> nice power back there. Mention up and down birdie here. I win a prize or something for it. Uh, yeah, I'll get her for two at my house. <laughs> well, I'll take that deal all day long. All right, let's go. Get by there. Oh no, I'm okay. I want yeah. I missed it. Darn it all anyway. <laughs> yeah. I always wear two pairs of pants when I go on golfing in case I get a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you've got your your hockey background, of course, everything else. I tell you, we talked about the horses a little bit in the golf cart. I think that's fascinating too. You love horses. You raise and train horses. Well, we started the Express Clydesdales in 1998. The owner of the hockey club in Oklahoma City uh -huh. is a big rancher. He has over 200,000 acres of land, Oof, and we're the biggest good. breeder of Angus cattle in the United States or North America. Uh -huh. And we have Herefords as well. And 
Earl used to be a Hereford uh, man, raised uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. old Herefords here in Saskatchewan. So uh, we travel all over North America with our Clydesdales, and now we have Percherons as well. So it's a pretty uh, unique yeah. deal. We've been to the Rose Bowl, we've been to Macy's, we've been to Chicago, Calgary Stampede many times. And this year I had my saddle horses, which are leopard Appaloosas, and we can probably get a picture of them later. Yeah. Uh, I take them and we were voted one of the best downtown attractions at the Calgary Stampede. We went downtown eight days. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. And uh, so I bring four horses up with me and uh, it's, a, it's a fun time. And we rode uh, Moose Mountain Provincial Park the other day with, uh, there was 12 of us. I invited right? some friends. and it's good for you. So, I think yeah. that's just great, you know, besides the, the hockey and talk about the golf. Working well, at the course. I, the, the hockey was very good to me. Yes, and, yes, it uh, was. Yeah. It opened a lot of doors and, yeah. uh, you know, coming home with these horses. Uh, horses don't have agents, and uh, <laughs> so I, I like them. And uh, yeah. they're leopards, they're spotted horses, which yeah. are very unique sort of thing. Oh, are they really? Yeah. Gee, I don't think I've seen a horse like that. I'll have to look at that picture. All right, gents, move on. All right. I want to mention a couple of things. First of all, Earl, sitting at 84, you're 86 years old. I'll tell you. And Doug and I are both sitting at 76. I'm kind of happy about that round. We'll see where it goes. Up and down, Earl. Sit up. Oh, hold on there. Oh, you're a little tester. You're a little hot. So this is your chance to shoot your age. It is, yeah. Wow. Doug, All right, up and I'm down gonna, here. I'm gonna play a shot here. I'm gonna putt with my eight iron. Okay. When I did the old Saskatchewan golf tour, there was a pro in uh, North Battleford on the show, and he taught me this shot. And I bet you I've used it since that time 300 times. Yeah. So you putt with your eight iron. So I want this ball to go about 40%, 30%. I'm gonna hold it like a putter. I'm gonna try to elevate it. Get my line. Nice touch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, little whoa, round whoa. by. Oh, a little, little tester here. Nice shot though, Doug. How the ball go, gets over the collar and the idea of that shot is more control and you got a tighter spray pattern, eh? Yeah, it's, I don't like flop shots very much. No, that's, that takes a lot of practice, I think. All right, you make this your low round of the day. If I make it 78, if you make it 77. This is for the glory. <clears throat> you know, I really appreciate when I come up to the line up this putt, how the crowd goes quiet for me. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> the big time. Well, I didn't read that worth a tweak. Well, I left the door open gonna, for you. Uh, I'm going to make you mark that. Okay. Well, here, I'll... Yeah, mark it. Just throw it to one side. I'll go to the side for you. Yeah. Like this here. Ooh. Oh, oh great round, Earl. Had a chance for your age. Yeah, well, you just won over, so that's pretty good. That's yeah. a great round of golf. Oh, I hope I can do that. Oh, he's going to pull the pin. Did you want the pin pulled? This is getting, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know. The hole looks bigger now. <laughs> that's right. For 78.
and I missed oh, it. Oh man, left the door open for me now. <laughs> oh, I pushed that out there. Okay, so I marked it. Did I mark it this way or yeah, it was this way, way, wasn't it? No, 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 no. <laughs> on the side. Yeah. I'd like to thank everybody here, Larry Palmer from White Bear, who's been the superintendent since day one, and the staff, and there you go. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, I really appreciate the round of golf. It's been a wonderful meeting, and seeing you again, Doug, I'll tell you, it's just been a treat. The winner today, 78, 86. I think well, this is a winner hat. right here. Thank yeah, you very much. This is kind well of done. a tradition uh, around Kenosi and White Bears that uh, you tip your hat to your partner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks to your great camera. True, right yeah. Well, Easy well done, boys. guys. Yeah, no bears got you. <laughs> and you know what we're going to do next? We're going to go into that clubhouse, have a peek around the clubhouse, and have a bite to eat. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Thanks, guys. Here we've had a nice round of golf. Gentlemen, we have a bite to eat here. I'm having the uh, Mike Weir Birdie Strips. That just sounds sounds uh, right. Uh, everything's on the golf team. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, the new management has done very well. They do takeout orders. And oh, yeah. uh, uh, they've expanded their menu. And of course, you've got the big screen right. going behind. It's only appropriate there's a hockey game on yeah. in, <laughs> in August. But, uh, <laughs> No, uh, White Bear has it all. They've got a yeah. beautiful putting uh, area to go out and practice your putting, and then they have the driving range, yeah. of course. And just everybody's welcome. It's uh, yeah. not, uh, you can wear a t shirt and shorts and uh, not feel a lot of place. It's not a country club atmosphere, but it's a professional run atmosphere right. because yeah. of the course. Well, you know, it's, as you mentioned, it's relaxing. It's such a well manicured golf course. It, it's scenic, it's beautiful, just to walk around. That's one thing we talk about in golf, you know, in birdies and bogeys, is that just the social aspect, just going for a nice walk. And this is a very scenic, beautiful walk. Yeah, uh, Larry and the ground, uh, groundskeepers here are just amazing. Like the crew is here early, early in the morning. Yeah. Whether they, they were laughing and singing the night before or not, they're here. <laughs> and uh, it just makes a big difference. And the cook staff here is tremendous. You know, what more can I say? It's a happy place to be, and I'm glad I'm here. And the nice setting too with the golf course is the casino. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, the tie in with the casinos, you know, you got the casino package. If we can stay at the casino, we'll do a little bit of fun gambling, I guess, and then yeah. come off around the golf. Well, you can take the casino and drop it in downtown Las Vegas and it wouldn't be out of place. <laughs> is that right? All right, we're just gonna wait for the food to come along, and we're gonna dive into that. You know, I'm very happy to be out here in White Bear. Let's say we're gonna, have a chew down, and then we'll go over to the casino and wrap up the show. Birdies and bogeys. Yeah. Thanks for having us on. Oh, yeah. it's just wonderful. Well, I enjoyed it very, very much. I was afraid you were going to ask me to really, you know, golf the whole thing. But... You did super. <laughs> you did super. You know, before we leave, I, I've got to throw a quick question. Famous pup line, all the hockey fans of Saskatchewan. Tell me that story quick. Well, uh... My second year coaching the John Pats, I had the opportunity to trade for Jamie Heward. Uh, he was on uh, Prince Albert's uh, list via Seattle, and uh, we made some trades and we put together the line of Frankie Kovacs, Mike Sellinger, and Jamie Heward. They were all just 16 years old, and probably the most impressive, if you can ever find one, is a poster of those three young hockey players in their Pat uniforms with a German Shepherd pup in their yeah. arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Pretty yeah. good marketing there, yeah. yeah. And they all went on to have yeah, you know, great players. backgrounds in, in yeah. the game of hockey. Obviously, Without a doubt. Heward is assistant coach in the NHL. Sillinger, of course, had a long NHL career. Jimmy Heward, uh, or sorry, Kovacs had a cup of coffee. Yeah, he's pro he hockey. So pro he's, 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 a, a, he's a policeman. Yeah. Keeping Regina in an honest place. That's right. Uh -huh. All right. Well, fantastic. So I'm waiting for that food. And well, I heard your food's coming. So. Excellent. Thanks, <laughs> everybody.